Yo, 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 what's good, rookies? I am Bass Drop Keys, your friendly neighborhood Negro, and I want to welcome you guys back to the Rookie Mycologist. In today's video, we're going to be doing something that I've never done before. We're going to start the process of turning one liquid culture syringe into 30. Now, how are we going to be doing that? We're going to be using the North Spore Liquid Culture Kit. With this kit, you can turn one syringe. It doesn't matter if it's liquid culture or a multi-spore syringe. You can take that one syringe, actually less than that one syringe, and we're going to be able to turn it into 30. Now, if you want to try the North Spore Liquid Culture Kit for yourself or any of the great North Spore products, Use the code base drop keys that will give you a 10% discount on any order at northspore.com. And if you guys haven't already subscribed to the North Spore YouTube channel, make sure you do that. The link will be in the description. But all right, guys, let me give you the backstory of this. The backstory is PGT Philly Golden Teacher was kind enough to send me a great package with some great, great, great genetics. What I want to do is I want to take one of the syringes that he sent me and I want to actually expand it. Now, as far as the liquid culture kit, it includes a jar with 300 milliliters of sterilized media, the lid with the self healing injection port and a micron filter, a reusable silicone jar lid cover, a sterile 60 cc syringe, a sterile 14 gauge needle, two alcohol wipes, and of course the instruction manual, all of which you can see right here. I'm actually unboxing everything right now. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is there's a plastic wrap around the top of the jar. That's to ensure nothing spilled during transit. Also, North Spore recommends waiting at least one week after arrival before injecting your liquid culture kit just to make sure it wasn't compromised during transit. Now, if it is, if you open it up and it looks cloudy and not clear, just contact North Spore and they'll replace it for you. No problem. Once I take that plastic wrap off, I'm going to take off that reusable silicone jar lid cover. And this is how everything looks right here. Now, North Spore sends some great instructions so that there's no confusion. Take a look at it. But everything is pretty much self-explanatory and just makes sense. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take one of the North Spore alcohol wipes, open it up, and I'm going to wipe down the injection port and the filter. Obviously, we want to make sure that it's clean before we inject our liquid culture. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my liquid culture. I told you that I got this from PGT. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sterile needle on this. You guys know whenever you open up the needle for the first time, you don't need to flame sterilize it or anything. But if you are going to use it again, so say we injected this jar and we're going to do another one, make sure that you flame sterilize in between each use. Now, North Spore recommends two and a half to five cc's putting in here. So I'm gonna put five in here. You do this the same way you would do it if you're inoculating a grain bag or a grain jar, or anything like that. Stick it in the injection port, put the five cc's in there, take it out, cap it off, and there we have it. Now I am going to spray the inside of this lid cover with the 70% iso alcohol, wipe it out, and then I'm gonna put it on top of here. We just want to do whatever we can to make sure this does not get any contam. And so I'm glad that they include the lid cover makes me feel better about everything. Now, after you inject it, you do want to store this in a place that is approximately 50 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit until use. Once this is colonized, the liquid culture can be stored in the refrigerator for up to four months. And so you guys can see that I have this in my incubation tent. You guys know that this tent came from AC Infinity. They've been sponsoring me over three years. If you want to get any of the great AC Infinity products, use the code base drop keys. That will give you a 10% discount on any order at acinfinity.com. So now it's five days later. And if you look inside the jar, you can see that the mycelium has already started forming. You can see it floating inside of there. And then there's a little fuzzy patch on top right there. That's all mycelium that's starting to form. All right, so now it's day 14. And if you look at the footage, you'll notice that there's like a cap of mycelium sitting on the top right there that I'm trying to break up by shaking it. I actually spent the last week on vacation. All these years that I've been a content creator, I've never taken a vacation and I finally got the opportunity to. So for the last week, I spent at a casino and resort with a lady friend of mine. And when I came back, this is what I found right here. So it's very important. I would tell you guys that you come back every two or three days to shake this up. That way you don't end up with a cap on the top. The more I shake it up, the more it is breaking up. 
and you can see that mycelium inside of the liquid. It looks very cool if you ask me. All right, so now it's day 17. And to be honest with you guys, on day 14, I could have did the steps that you're about to see right now. I just got busy, so I had to wait an additional three days. But at any rate, you can see how the mycelium looks right now. Now what we need to do is we need to put it inside of our syringes. So with this jar, you can actually make 30 10 cc syringes. I'm going to give you an example of how to do two of them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cover off of the jar. You can see me doing it right here. Now it goes without saying that obviously you want to make sure that your hands, your workstation, everything that you're using is sprayed down with the 70% ISO alcohol. I do want to mention to you guys that you don't need a flow hood, a steel air box or none of that for this particular step. You're not opening the jar at all. So you don't have to worry about having a steel air box or a flow hood, anything like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this 60 CC syringe, this 14 gauge needle that comes with the kit. And I'm going to fill this about halfway up. If you want to, you can fill it all the way up or you can put it on 10 or 20 or 45 or whatever it is that you want to do. I just basically want to show you guys how to use it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the needle on it without touching anything like I always do. The next step is I'm going to spray the top of the jar with the 70% ISO alcohol. Once I do that, I'm going to take off the case from the needle, stick it through the injection port. Now, whenever you do this, you will have to tilt the jar over so that the needle can actually reach the liquid culture inside of here. But once you have it tipped over, you will be able to pull the liquid culture inside of the syringe, just like this. Now, once you have your desired amount in here, you can go ahead and just leave the needle inside of there and twist it off. That way you can fill up multiple syringes without going back and forth inside the injection port. So you can see I have about 30 milliliters inside of here. If you happen to get any air inside of your syringe, just turn it upside down and you can push that air out. Once that's done, you want to take the stopper for your syringe. I spray it with the 70% ISO alcohol, and then I'm going to put it on the end of the syringe. And there you go. That's how easy it is to get the liquid culture out of the jar. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing, but instead of using this big 60 milliliter syringe, I'm going to use a 10 cc syringe. So check this out. This is probably the size syringe that most of you guys are used to. I know I am. And so, like I said before, you're going to actually do the exact same thing. You have to tilt over the jar so that it will reach to do these. It's way, way, way easier. Pull out the liquid culture, spray the stopper for your syringe, put it on the end. And there you go. Once you have that done, you want to label it. I always label it with the strain and the company that I got it from or the person that I got it from. I also will put the date on here. I forgot to put the date in the video, but I will put the date so I know exactly what day I actually did this. Now check it out. You can see the mycelium inside the syringe. We have some great liquid culture. I was able to take half of one syringe because remember, I put five cc's inside of this jar. It only took two weeks and now I'm able to make 30 syringes out of half of one syringe. Now, the best thing about this is there's no reason why you can't just do this again. So with the five cc's that I took from that initial syringe of liquid culture, I make 30 more syringes and then I can take one of those syringes, use half of it to make another 30. And you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. So the $30 that you're going to spend on this kit actually less than that because you're going to use my name base drop keys to get 10% off It's definitely worth it because you can just keep multiplying and multiplying and multiplying. So what you're looking at right now is the same jar that you just saw, but this is 90 days later, actually about 95 days later. You can see that this liquid culture is already dark and not usable anymore. Just like the directions on the culture kit says, it can last for up to four months inside this jar. Mine lasted about three months. And that's all fine and dandy, but I want you guys to look at the liquid culture that I put in the syringes. If you look at it, you can see that it looks exactly the same as it did three months ago. So for all of you guys who didn't understand what I was saying whenever I told you in the live video that the liquid culture in the syringe is just fine, but the liquid culture inside of the jar is not usable anymore. This is what I meant. So what's the solution for the problem? 
The solution is whenever you guys make your liquid culture, go ahead and put it inside of all your syringes. Go ahead and fill up your syringes. If you do that, it'll last for a long time, just like all your other syringes from whatever vendor you decide to go to. It'll last just as long, which can be a very long time if you're using your refrigerator. If you wanna support me and the channel, come over to therookiemycologist.com. I have some great t-shirts, slides, stickers, and a bunch of other merch that you'll love. Also, if you guys are missing the mycology videos that I made, come over to my website, bassdropkeys.tv, where I have my entire mycology catalog at your disposal. So unfortunately, you can't see those videos on YouTube anymore, thanks to YouTube, but I am still making mycology videos. So if you wanna see all of my old videos, there's over 100 mycology videos on my website, and all of my new videos. I got brand new videos dropping tomorrow. Come over to my website and subscribe, bassdropkeys.tv. I appreciate all of you guys. Thanks for the love. I hope to see all of you on the site and I'll see you the next time. I'm out, much love.